All right, guys, today is World Turtle Day. Today is the day that we not only celebrate turtles and tortoises, we also recognize the fact that they are the most endangered group of vertebrates. On, they are the most endangered group of vertebrates on the planet. Uh, turtles and tortoises um, in some places may be abundant, certain species may be abundant, but overall, as a group of animals, they're highly sought after, highly persecuted, highly endangered, uh, most trafficked, most poached. I mean, they got it rough. So today we're gonna kind of talk about some of our favorite turtle species around the world. I'm gonna have some of my friends talk about their favorite turtles, their favorite tortoises, and also talk about some of the conservation issues that those species may face. So it's gonna be kind of fun. And let's start with my friend Chris up in New Jersey. Take it away, Chris. For me, it's the things that are tied to monumental moments in my childhood that end up becoming my favorites or what I hold dearest to my heart. And that is the case with the Western Hermans tortoise. This is, I can say now, after so many years of doing this, my ultimate favorite turtle or tortoise species. And it is, of course, tied to my childhood because in 1991, my Italian grandmother gave me one of these, a little hatchling. And I spent my life trying to learn as much as I possibly could about them. And I wanted to just do something more with them because as I learned more, I came to realize that these are in fact a very endangered tortoise. They are one of the most endangered reptiles in Western Europe, not to be confused with their common Eastern cousin. So the Western Hermans tortoise, Testudo hermani hermani, is endangered for all the obvious reasons that other turtle and tortoise species are, but one added thing that they suffer from is impurity. And that's because people illegally release the common Eastern cousin of these and they crossbreed. So that happens in not just captivity, but also in the wild. And the few populations that are left of this amazing little tortoise in France, Italy, and Spain are really in trouble. Uh, some populations more than others, the ones from France, like this one right here, are really in trouble. And they're becoming very inbred in the wild because there is not much, uh, there are not many choices for them to go around anymore when it comes to prolonging the existence of their species. So this is something that's been an ongoing project for me. I love them dearly. I have a lot of different locales here that I try to keep as pure as possible. And uh, they're just a unique, amazing little tortoise. A lot of very uh, indicative traits that separate them from the other Hermans tortoises. And uh, despite their rarity, they're very brawny and very outgoing and easy to take care of. And they spend their lives outdoors here in New Jersey uh, from little tiny hatchling size all the way up to adult. And they do fantastic and I'm happy to work with them. And there are a lot of other uh, efforts going on with them, some conservation efforts where they're trying to save the purity of them, where they're actually looking deeper into the genetics of them to see if they can save some of the really uh, troublesome populations by pulling animals from compatible populations in nature to bring them back. So there you go, Western Hermit's tortoise, Testudo, Hermani, Hermani. Happy World Turtle Day. Thank you so much, Chris, that was awesome. And Chris couldn't be more correct. Um, you know, certain species that uh, are, are a lot of times facing issues from maybe well-intentioned people, you know, releasing something that they think is the same thing, but maybe is a totally different species or unrelated, and then can kind of mess up the genetics. And that's a conservation issue as well. Turtles and tortoises come in sizes great and small, from a big sulcutta tortoise all the way down to the tiny musk turtles, spotted turtles, and even the uh, enigmatic Vietnamese black-breasted leaf turtle. And my friend Anthony Perleone, I'm gonna let him tell you all about that amazing species. Hello guys, Anthony from the Turtle Room here. And when it comes to my favorite species, I'm afraid I'm a bit of a one-trick pony. I am probably best known by my friends for uh, loving and, and being borderline, more than borderline obsessed with the Vietnamese black-breasted leaf turtle, Geoemita spangleri, which is a small terrestrial species from Vietnam and uh, southern China. And that species is very um, dear to my heart. Um, but they're just great for, for keeping and just great in general. They don't have huge um, specialized lighting requirements and, and they don't need supplemental heat. Uh, really just room temperature and even colder in the winter is wonderful for them. So um, for, from that perspective, they're, they're pretty easy if you're keeping them. Um, if you're basically if you can keep plants alive, then you can keep them alive and they'll most likely thrive. Um, 
And then they're just, you know, a species that a lot of people don't know about. They're really unique. You know, uh, when you're talking about unique species, you think about like the Matamata or the Fly River Turtle or the Alligator Snapping Turtle, especially if you like Greg's channel, then you know all about Alligator Snapping Turtles. Um, but to me, Spangler Eye are kind of in that group as well, where they've got the uh, shell that's shaped like a leaf and the owl eyes that are used for seeing, uh, where there's reduced light because of the... Um, the canopy and then like the secondary forest like they're under all of that and then amongst the fallen leaves on the forest floor so um really cool niche um animals and and hunters that are just uh extremely comical to watch and a lot of fun to work with and a lot of fun to learn about these cherry head tortoises have kind of quickly become a favorite of mine um, I love their personalities. I love watching them grow. Uh, this particular one was hatched by my buddy Charlie Moorcroft and Charlie is well known for his cherry heads and his love for the cherry head tortoises and I'm gonna let Charlie kind of tell you a little bit about why they're his favorite and what he does and Charlie will tell you all about his love for turtles and tortoises. Hello, it's Charlie Moorcroft. In honor of World Turtle Day, I thought I'd spend a little bit of time with one of my favorite species the cherry head. Although these guys are not the most rare or endangered, they're definitely one of my favorites. Although there are more rare, more difficult to work with, and hard to come by species of turtles and tortoises, I'm really drawn to this species. I love the color variations, the manageable size, the easy range of diet, and the care is pretty straightforward as well. Each individual is different looking. Some having more red, some having more marbling, some being almost more salmon or orange colored. Awesome, thank you so much, Charlie, that's awesome. So. What is my favorite turtle? My favorite turtle is the, there's more? They submitted more? That's awesome, who? Okay, all right, we got more. So I uh, got a couple more videos from my buddy Michael and my buddy Ralph Till. So uh, let's play those and hope you guys enjoy these. Hey everyone, happy World Turtle Day. This here is a reeves turtle. Some call it Chinese reeves and it is one of my absolutely favorite species. Um, I highly recommend it to beginners especially. Uh, this one is a female adult. As you can see, she's not too big and they're very tolerant of, you know, different kinds of setups and um, uh, give, they are forgiving as well, uh, which gives beginners a chance to correct course if they are not doing things right by the turtle. In the wild, just like any other Asian species, the population is threatened due to habitat fragmentation, conception, and you know, various other factors. They are uh, bred in farms in significant numbers, so they're not going anywhere. And in the U.S., they're well established as a captive bred species. So if you haven't you know, given some thought to the reef turtles, I would highly encourage you to take a look and hope you will. May the turtles be with us, and please treat every day as if it's World Turtle Day. Thank you. Hi folks, my name is Ralph Till, and this is the critically endangered Egyptian tortoise, my all-time favorite species of tortoise. Isn't that cute little guy? Believe it or not, this is an adult male. He is probably 12 years old. Doesn't get any cuter than that, does it? This Sunday, May 23rd is World Turtle Day. Take a moment, if you will, and just consider the hardships that all these little guys have to endure in a while. Not only little Egyptians, but all our native species as well. And if you can do something kind, maybe offer a little assistance to a rescue or a rehabber or somebody who has a, a, a nice collection, do so. Because all these little guys will benefit from it. It's not too much to ask. Thanks. Have a good day. 
Awesome, thanks Michael and Ralph. That was awesome. Fantastic turtles, I love Reeves turtles. And then those little Egyptian tortoises are so amazing. I got to see those when I was at Charlie's house and I couldn't believe that a tortoise that big is a full grown adult. So it's actually getting really hot right now. So I'm in the back corner of my yard. But since I'm in the back corner, it's time to talk about my fa- Again, another one? She did? Rad, okay. So a friend from Facebook, my friend Michaela, uh, she's got a video as well. So let's see what she has to say. My favorite turtle in the whole wide world is Texas Diamondback Terrapin. Not only because it's my native state turtle, but also because it has this incredible anatomy to it. I mean, they have specialized glands in the back of their leg to hold, hold water, you know, when they go into open ocean and handling that brackish water because brackish water, you know, changes salinity constantly. But they, these guys are incredible. They found a niche in the environment these other turtles didn't, and they took advantage of it. And not only that, but look how gorgeous they are. Absolutely stunning. Now, as far as conservation concerns, here in the state of Texas, there are biologists that are doing field work, but they're mainly doing ecology studies, uh, population studies, what they're eating, what their diet, stuff like that. But what they have found for conservation concerns is habitat loss. But other than that, they, they seem to be holding strong in population for now. But yeah, it's my favorite turtle. Bye. All right, so that was really cool. Um, thank you so much, Michaela. I was not expecting that video to come through, so that was really cool. I'm glad that um, she got to share the love of Diamondback Terrapin, such a popular turtle. Um, and it's unfortunately still kind of a poached turtle, uh, but things are starting to look up. There's a lot more people getting into captive breeding those turtles. Um, there's a lot more kind of going on uh, with some law changes that some people may not be happy about, but I think are gonna be overall beneficial to the turtles in the wild and the turtles in captivity. So thank you so much, Michaela. All right, so now let's get into my favorite turtle in the world and it is the... Hey Greg, so my favorite species in the whole entire world is gonna be the one that is native to the state that I currently live in and the one that I've dedicated an entire pond for. Of course it is the Diamondback Terrapin. Now, as we know a little bit about them, they're species native to the Northeast. They range from all the way up in Maryland, New York, down to Florida. They wrap around the Keys and go out to Texas. They're the only brackish water species in the entire United States and possibly the world, although I think there's some South American species but whatever we don't pay attention to them because they don't look as pretty as the terrapins their colors their patterns no two are alike it's something that draws me to them and why i think that they are my favorite besides being absolute puppy dogs in the water they'll come they'll beg for food they are just the sweetest and some of the best looking turtles in my opinion in the entire world and that is why they are my favorite happy world turtle day thank you for putting this together greg have a good one y'all what a frog all right, thank you so much, Dan. I appreciate that video. But now, my favorite turtle in the world, without question, I'm standing right here, is the owl. He's 20 months old? Yes, fascinating. And he's your favorite? I believe so. Um, he's not really my, not really my dad to really learn, but he's really uh, got the personality and I, doesn't know yet. Him or her, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Cool. And I never dreamt in my wildest dreams that I would have a good lot. So, pretty special to have it right here. And baby. And baby. <laughs> All right, so my favorite turtle in the world.
There you go. Happy World Turtle Day.